Okay, if you've opened App Inventor with the template that's provided and renamed your project, I named, renamed my multiple quizzes FB for Firebase. Let's begin by taking a look at the Firebase component. And in the template, these values are nulled out. So we have to go back and fill them in. So I'm going to go, so you should go back to your original Firebase database. First of all, let's copy the link and paste that into the URL field. And the token is going to be this secret that we have to get from the Firebase. So you need to go up to the settings, database, and it's this secret that you want. And this is your token. So you copy that for your case and you paste it in to the Firebase token. And then finally, the project bucket, that's the name of the actual database. In this case, it's our president's quiz. So uh, I should name my bucket president's quiz FB, and you should name yours whatever yours says. So now if you uh, load the app and run it, it should run using your data if you've gotten those three values correct. Notice that the fault has to be unchecked here. So going back to Firebase, let's take an overview of what we're going to do. So currently, this is what the President's Quiz looks like. It uses parallel lists. And the problem with this approach is that, as we saw, it takes three queries to load the images, the questions, and the right answers for each quiz. We can improve on that with a different representation of the data, and that will allow us to host multiple quizzes from the same database. To show you that, I'm going to go over to the solution and show you how that looks. So basically, we've got a list of quiz names, Q1, Q2, multiplication by threes, and president's quiz. And these names correspond to the tags of the actual quizzes over here, Q1, Q2, multiplication by threes, and president's quiz. So let's open president's quiz. And what you're going to see is it has three lists that are parallel, but they're embedded now within a single tag, the President's Quiz tag. So they are lists within a list. This list here has three sublists. Each sublist has four items in it, okay, in parallel. So we're using a list of lists within um, a single tag. And if you look at the other quizzes, say quiz, say multiplication by threes, you find the same thing. You find a list of lists. This time we only have two lists. There's no images in this case. And the lists are in parallel. The answer 15 goes with the question in index zero. Remember that in Firebase, lists are indexed starting at zero. In App Inventor, they're indexed starting at one. Okay, so I'm going to walk us through creation of a database like this one that has the President's Quiz embedded in it. So I'm going to close this up. First, we're going to create a new project bucket. I'm going to name this one Multi Quizzes FB. And I'm going to add as a first item in this bucket the quiz names list. Quiz name zero, the first name in the list will be President's Quiz. And um, I'll add that. And then a second name in the second quiz name, I'll make a multiplication. Okay, and I'll add that. So now what I have to do is I have to add the individual quizzes to go along with. All right, so under here, multiple quizzes, I want to name President's Quiz. And I'm going to add a list for the questions. It's going to be list zero. And the first question is going to be which president used the A-bomb. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in here, hit return. I'm going to add another question. This is question one. It's going to be which president recognized China. Put that in there. Add it. Do this again for who was the Watergate president. This is three. Two rather. Add it. And the last one, which president created the New Deal. So I'm just copying the questions over from our President's Quiz. Okay, so going back to this, this is what our President's Quiz looks like. So now I need to do the same thing for the answers and the images. So I'm going to copy those over following that same approach that I'm showing you here. 
Okay, so I'm back. I've completed my three sublists. The first one is the list of questions. The second is the parallel list of answers. And the third is the parallel list of images. And I just copied those over from our other instance of the President's Quiz. But now this one is under Multi Quizzes FB. Ooh, I spelled it. I don't know if I can change that, so I'm going to just leave it. Okay, so now that I've finished the President's Quiz, I'm going to add in a second quiz. And I'm going to add it under here, and it's going to be named Multiplication. It's going to have two sublists. The first one is going to be for the questions. So question number zero is nine times nine equals, and we'll add that. Okay, you see it's at the same level as President's Quiz. Question number one is going to be nine times seven equals, and I'm going to add that. Then I'm also going to add the parallel answers. So this is sublist one, and the first one is going to be the answer to nine times nine is 81, and the second one is going to be the answer to nine times seven, and that's 63. As you see under multiple quiz FB, I've got the multiplication sub quiz and the president's quiz. Both of them are identical to the names given in the quiz names, right? And I've added these to my database. So that's enough for now on this side. Pause here and get your database, your Firebase database set up as shown in this video, and then come back and join me in the second video for part two of the tutorial.